There are many dogs out there that'll cost you a significant amount if you adopt them straight from the breeder or from a pet shop. It is almost always better to adopt from a shelter, as that gives a poor and disadvantaged doggo a new lease on life. But that's not always possible. We have compiled a list of the top 10 most expensive dog breeds in the world. Unless you've got a pretty penny, you'll probably want to avoid these fluff balls. Number 10, Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a chubby and sturdy doggo that originates from the north of China and Mongolia. They are strange, bizarre looking animals with triangular ears that stick firmly out the top of their heads. Their fluff is like a thick fuzz that swallows their body whole. Giving them a lion-like mane, these fluffy fellows aren't particularly rare. So why are they so expensive? Famous for having bright blue tongues, Chow Chows are relatively large dogs that can come from champion bloodlines and therefore cost an excessive amount. Chow Chows regularly cost between 2,000 and 4,000 US dollars. Number nine, Afghan Hound. Afghan Hounds are strange looking creatures and can be a real challenge. It is truly bizarre that what is widely considered the stupidest dog breed in the world is also one of the most expensive. Known for being badly behaved and troublesome, Afghan hounds were bred in the mountains of Afghanistan, as aristocratic creatures meant for the super wealthy. Afghan hounds are one of the most expensive breeds because they are big dogs that have been bred to be featured in shows and to be rich people pets. These big, dumb dogs are stubborn, hard to train, and equally odd to look at. They feature long noses, big wide eyes, and easily groomed fur. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're probably not going to be most families' first choice of pet. Number eight, Samoyed. Samoyeds are majestic and beautiful dogs. They're also expensive. Relatively big, but not too heavy, Samoyeds are graceful and gorgeous dogs worthy of our affection. That doesn't mean they are the ideal pet though, because Samoyeds are also some of the most expensive dogs in the entire world. They need regular grooming, they need to be kept well exercised and busy, and they need to be trained well. Currently, it's selling around 5,000 US dollars. What makes the Samoyeds so expensive is that they are remarkably difficult to breed. Samoyeds are beefy, strong creatures with luscious coats and a high level of intelligence, and are also incredibly rare. Some less common variants, such as the Siberian Samoyed, go for as much as 12,000 US dollars. Number seven, Rottweiler. Rottweilers are big, strong dogs. They can also be remarkably calm and gentle. These large dogs, bred to herd livestock and pull carts, are some of the most expensive in the world. Far more common than a lot of the dog breeds featured in this list, the Rottweiler is a dog that features an interesting history. Their origins go back to the Roman Empire, and they are considered one of the world's oldest surviving dog breeds. Usually costing between 2,000 and 8,000 US dollars when bought from a breeder, Rottweilers are often expensive when purchased as a purebred particularly prepared for you. On the flip side, you can often find Rottweilers from pet shops and at the pound for significantly less. They are an old dog breed, and as a result, can be found in a variety of forms. Number six, Lurchen. Lotions are also referred to as little lion dogs. They also cost a pretty penny. Lotions are not only adorable little doggos, but they are also affectionate and good with children. They don't shed too much and are easy to groom. They are playful, protective, open-minded, and easily trained. Sure, they need all the same things that a normal dog needs, exercise, a good diet, and a loving family. But they are unlikely to cause trouble. Perhaps this explains why the lotion is such an expensive and elite breed of dog, or maybe something else is to blame. Featured in a lot of German art, they originate from Germany, which is where they get their name, lotions almost went extinct by the end of the 19th century. As a result of this, they are one of the rarest and most expensive dog breeds in the world, often sold for almost 10,000 US dollars. Number five, Newfoundland. Newfoundlands are giant, sweet dogs. As large working dogs, Newfoundlands are popular due to their size, intelligence, and temperament. They are gentle giants that are great with children, fantastic family dogs, strong swimmers, and incredibly patient. Easygoing and loving, it is a real and genuine shame that Newfoundlands are so expensive. 
Newfoundlands were originally bred to work for the fishermen of Newfoundland, a Canadian island in the country's northeast. Often costing upwards of 3,000 US dollars, Newfoundlands are expensive due to the apparent breeding difficulties associated with them. Out of all the dogs in this list, the Newfoundland is nowhere near the priciest or rarest, but it is also one that is out of reach for most normal dog lovers. Number 4. Alaskan Malamute Alaskan Malamutes are remarkable dogs, and in many cases well worth their cost. The Alaskan Malamute is a relatively large dog that is reasonably good with families and children, but also quite demanding considering their history. Likely originating from Asia and moving over to Alaska a couple of hundred years ago, the Malamute is a breed that predates most domestic doggos in the state. Likely a close relative of the Siberian Husky, these big dogs are friendly, loving creatures that are extremely loyal and protective. Alaskan Malamutes are commonly used as sled dogs in Alaska and as a result, are often very expensive because they have been bred for hard manual labor and a high degree of obedience. Number 3. St. Bernard There are few dogs more fluffy and friendly, or more expensive, than the St. Bernard. A large working dog that originates from the Alpine regions of Italy and Switzerland, St. Bernard's, were originally bred to rescue people stranded high up in the mountains. As a result, they are strong and resilient animals with a marked sense of service, a high degree of responsibility and obedience, and a gentle temperament. The history and purpose of the St. Bernard lends itself to the value bestowed upon them financially. In other words, they are very carefully bred animals and are extremely expensive. When considering adoption, keep in mind that St. Bernards also don't generally live very long and will often encounter health complications. Number 2. Canadian Eskimo Dog Canadian Eskimo Dogs are some of the bravest and most ferocious doggos on the market. Canadian Eskimo Dogs are some of the hardest and scariest dogs in the world, and also some of the rarest. Having arrived in North America more than 12,000 years ago, these are purebreds that know how to survive even against some of the most fearsome beasties on the planet. Sadly though, they were no match for humans. With very few left in the wild, the purebred Canadian Eskimo dog is close to extinction. With such rarity, they have also become one of the most expensive dog breeds in the world. Often used to protect people, pull sleds, and perform various duties in North America, these disappearing doggos are also some of the most extraordinary in the world. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is famously known to be the most expensive dog breed in the entire world. They are also a giant, friendly breed featured in one of our recent dog profiles. Originating from the Buddhist monasteries of the Himalayan regions in Tibet, these giant fluffy doggos didn't come to the West until the early 20th century. Tibetan Mastiffs are so expensive due to the purity of their bloodline and their extreme rarity. Indeed, these dogs are so rare and so pure that their price has been known to reach into the millions. Now, let's discuss why some dogs are so expensive. When you consider all the healthcare costs, registration, food, toys, training, and facilities you need when you adopt a dog, every single pup will cost you a pretty penny. Some dogs are particularly expensive to purchase, though, because they have been selectively bred by a high-quality dog breeder. On top of that, purebred dogs and puppies will often cost far more than older dogs or mixed-breed pooches. If you have your dog selectively bred for your purposes, you also need to consider the costs associated with artificial insemination, breed-specific genetic testing, and a variety of other expenses. And there you have it, folks, the fascinating world of luxury-loving canines. If you found this video as intriguing as I did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow dog enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on everything related to our furry companions. And if you have any stories or experiences with any of these expensive breeds, feel free to share them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our amazing community of dog lovers. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way as we explore the wonderful world of dogs and animals.